Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt from Rocky's War Room. And today I have another Let's Build video. This time uh, it's for Bolt Action by Warlord Games, a World War II uh, miniatures game. Uh, and it is the U.S. Army 105 Medium Artillery M2A1 Winter. Uh, so we're going to have some Winter guys in there. And uh, we're going to open this up and take a look here. <clears throat> so I don't have a lot of Winter miniatures, but I was curious about this. Especially U.S. Army. Uh, I plan on having a, a winter U.S. Arm, U, uh, US Army uh, <clears throat> platoon for bolt action. So I figured this would be a good place to start. Get some artillery. Like a big old 105. <laughs> so we got various pieces. Looks like a gun shield right there. All right. We got the wheels. All right. Lots of little pieces. Like this one here, looks like it's the inner part of the gun shield. We got the gun barrel itself, which is really cool. Got some neat detail on there. <clears throat> and of course the legs. All right. And other little pieces uh, that go on to the 105. Lots of flash there. Yep. Looks like we got the, the end hook there. And not sure what that is yet, but we're going to figure it out as we build it. Oh, and then we got the wheels or the um, shaft for the drive shaft or shaft for the wheels. All right. Oop, drop that. And then we got a, uh, the stand for the, for the weapon itself. <clears throat> so then we got four. Four uh, U.S. Army guys in winter uh, winter uniforms. So here they are. Those are nice, nice one-piece sculpts. Um, just a little flash to take off and put them on a base. No big deal. Uh, it's pretty nice looking. Looks like you got the loader here. Uh, you got the spotter. Another guy holding a shell. This guy's saying... Hold, wait, wait a second. There's much more we need to do. Pretty cool. You don't have to put heads on or anything. They're just one piece. I like that. Makes it easier, <laughs> if you're, especially if you're assembling. <clears throat> so, uh, we're going to figure out how this whole thing fits together. Um, and then we're going to put it together. And uh, I'll be back in a minute to uh, show you guys what it looks like afterwards. Uh, I'll show you the tools first, but I'll be back in a minute.
Okay, there you have it. Uh, there is the U.S. 105, U.S. Army 105, uh, medium artillery. Uh, it was kind of a challenging kit because uh, the pieces kind of, uh-oh, there we go, <laughs> uh, fit in a little wonky. Um, well, I mean, they fit in good. It's just uh, trying to get them in the right spot. Uh, there's a couple tiny pieces um, that you got to put on, and uh, a couple of them um, didn't fit perfectly. Um, but you had to keep working, you know, keep on working with it um, to get it in the right position, like where the gun fits in, uh, where, where the howitzer fits inside its, uh, um, uh, I guess, uh, adjuster. Um, I'm not sure exactly militarily what you call it, but uh, where the adjust will adjust up and down. You got to get it in the right spot. Um, if you have any pictures of what one looks like, I'd suggest looking at one. Also, Warlord has a, a some nice pictures online um, of what uh, it looks like um, in their uh, uh, website uh, artwork. Um, but it's a pretty cool looking ma uh, machine, <laughs> war machine or uh, howitzer. It's pretty awesome. Um, if you look at it from above here. Now, uh, setbacks, um, I had a few. Um, like this little guy here, he will not stay on for no matter. Oh, there he goes. I'll have to put it up. I'll glue it back on here in a little bit as soon as I get done. Um, what I would recommend you do is where the wheels attach, I would glue this to the howitzer's uh, whole uh, uh, rest um, adjuster. And I would fit the bottom piece where the wheels fit on and this, this uh, shield. Uh, uh, gun shield right here. I would fit all that together with the wheels first like I did and then put these guys on and When you put it on this if you wanted to level it out, it's pretty easy. This piece won't go any further than uh, It won't go any further up than me Metal touching metal and if you glue that on glue that on and let it sit on a level surface um, They'll line up pretty good uh, th Touching the ground and things like that um, and the wheels, uh, in all the pictures, they have these, these, uh, um, pieces right here on the tires facing forward. So that's the way I did it. Um, the adjuster here just glues on pretty, pretty easily. But before you glue this gun on, I think I would do that. Absolutely. Um, the last thing is gluing the, uh, the howitzer on. Um, I'm sorry, uh, gluing this gun shield on last. But gluing the howitzer on after you've got this part and with the wheels and uh, the stands put together um, first. So um, it, it comes with a round base. As you can see, it doesn't sit on the round base fully. Um, you can adjust it up if you want to, but it's going to be sitting off this round base. It's a winter scene, so you really kind of want to show winter. Um, you could use the round base um, uh, and glue it. In the position you want it in, like level on a level ground, just like this, and still show winter. Uh, but I'm going to paint this first, and then uh, uh, do the base up, and then glue it down. Um, I might even get a rectangular base. Um, I've done a lot of my artillery on rec rectangular bases where it'll sit fully on the base, and there's room for the the guys to uh, sit around on the square base. And you can do more dioramic uh, piece that way too. But uh, for the most part, these will work. You just got to glue it in the right position. So if you're going to glue it onto the base and then just do the flocking later so it's easier to paint, I'd recommend you putting the glue down pretty kind of uh, kind of heavy using a CA glue of some kind um, to hold it and uh, le let it go the, exactly the way it is. And when you do lift it up with the base, um, the only two glue, you only have two glue points here. So a recommendation, if you're going to use the round base, maybe put a rock sitting underneath here to support it, um, underneath these legs on either side to support it. Because when you pick it up after gluing just the wheels down, you're going to have this gap on the base and it could bust or break. So, uh, I would recommend actually using either a square base or or another thing you can do is um, not use the base at all. Um, if you got some, you know, interesting scenery or something, you can place it on there and it could be in a winter scene or uh, something along those lines. Personally, that's kind of what I prefer to uh, leave it off the base 
It does make it a little bit more fragile to handle, but uh, I'd either do a square base or uh, just leave it loose like this. And like I said, if you're going to use the round base, put, put some sort of supports under the legs as if it's laying on it. I mean, you could put a log there or anything like that to support it on your round base because you're only going to have with this big round base two contact points on the base itself and you want more support. You could put it halfway on and get a third, this leg over here on the, this side or this side to uh, have three points of contact, but then you're just kind of hanging over the base. Um, so either put it all the way up against and support it with rocks. We use a square base or just leave it off the base altogether. And I think I may do that because I have a winter, a uh, bunch of winter um, scenery uh, that I can place it on. And uh, you don't have to worry about a base when you're going around. So it's all about personal preference when, as far as that goes. And uh, we got these beautiful models. They're one piece. You don't have to put them together. Uh, there's very little flash um, with these pieces which is awesome. So, but that's it. Thank you guys for joining me. This is the U.S. Army 105 Medium Artillery M2A1. Uh, hope you enjoyed this build. Uh, there will be more in the future. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Please tell a friend. Leave me some comments. Tell me what you think of this, this weapon and how you use it in a battle if you got one. Uh, and last but not least, from me to you, ta-ta, and we'll see you in the next video.